acting up. Maverick does not like the wind. He just does not like the wind at all. Thank you, but my G. And uh, he wouldn't come in, and finally Mercy came in. Hi, everybody. Then Mercy came in, and then the goat got out again. And then the donkey came in the barn and wouldn't go out. And then Mer Maverick's just hanging out there like, come and get me. So I started putting on my muck boots, and then he came in. It's never boring around here, it's is it? It's never boring around here. Never. <laughs> so Mudgy's ready. Um, yeah, happy Patty's Eve. <laughs> this box, and then I have to go take care of my mom, because my mom was up here a little while today. She wanted to go for a little walk. So we went for a walk. <laughs> The wind darn near blew her over, blew her over. Ferris had her meds. Yep, and then I'll do boxes and then give you an update on our surgery. <laughs> well, Gia probably is. <laughs> and I see Tabitha's in there too. This, oh, this is from MLS. MLS, I think you left me a note on it. Look, there is my girl. Isn't he so sweet like that? Yeah, this is from MLS. And, um, where's my other note? I had another note. Oh, MLS, thank you. This is Linda. Linda, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this. Happy National Artichoke oh. Heart Day, Corned Beef and Cabbage Seeds. Can we just leave it in there and we'll carry it out? Or sure. show them and then we'll carry sure. it out to the... Yeah, we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of appetizers from MLS. MLS, I appreciate this. And... Um, very, very, very much. Yeah, I always feel guilty when I use appetizers because I know the cost on them. There's there's three different flavors in here, Mudgy, and we have six of them all together. Linda, thank you. I, I really appreciate this. We'll take this out because I'm going to bet you Mary's on there and she'll say, yeah. did they rotate? I'm bringing it up, Mary. Yeah. I promise. And I rotated some today, too. I was really proud of myself. And this is from um, North NM. North M NM, you just told me that something was coming from Goupon Goods today. And it came today. And it's heavy. It's a little package and it's... Oh, gosh, I should have made a bet. I should have made a bet. I wondered if they were batteries. And they are. This is wonderful. These are our most used batteries is the double A's. They go in on um, the smoke alarms, a lot of the toys, and the triple A's too. So there's two packs of triple A and two packs of the double A. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, North, thank you, thank you for this. We go through a lot of batteries here with the toys and everything. I'm going to set this, I keep these in a cupboard in the house. Everybody who knows all the batteries are there for FFRC, but it's easier for me to keep them in the house so I know for sure where they're at. Yeah, thank you. Oh, the, the appetizers, they like them all. They do. Anything and everything, is, if it's an appetizer, is a good thing. Hey, Barb, do you think you could put these in the house in the kitchen? Yep. And then you can grab them. <gasps> okay. Sorry. So thank you, North and MLS. I appreciate you. And we cannot disturb the girl yet, the Zelda. This one is says KD Snacks, but it doesn't have a webcam view name viewer name on here. So we got to see what we have. Is it really Snackers? Oh, it's gum. It's gum. This is... You guys have... 
I hope you all realize how much the volunteers appreciate the goodies for them. Because I know this is not for the kids. This is Orbit Gum Wintergreen. And uh, every once in a while we get the gum to share. And I put these in the volunteer pen and they always like this. You know, all the snackers that you guys give the volunteers is much, much appreciated. Okay, what's going on? Now, Tabitha. Oh my goodness, you're making a big old mess in there, Tabitha. Yeah. So there's two packs of this. Ooh, but we don't know who it's from, though, my G. Yeah, we don't know who it's from, but maybe somebody will let us know. This bathroom looks so open. It's and weird, and it's yeah, got so long to go. I'm hoping he'll start tiling this week. He yeah, said he would have the stuff in by the sink in by tomorrow. But no toity yet. Mm. He can't put the toilet in until he's done with the floor tiles. He doesn't have stuff to go out Oh, yeah, we got that tiny bathroom. I didn't know you had yeah, another in the one. bedroom. Yeah, but oh, it's very small. Oh, I didn't small. know that. Oh, yeah. that's good. So, whoever did the kit, the gum, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We will use it. You want to put it right in the volunteer pen? Yep. You'll get eight. Or two. Courtney, <laughs> what are you doing over there? What's up, Andy? <laughs> Nothing bothers those kitties. And this one... This is from Bella Bell. Bella Bell. That's our, our Tammy friend. Tammy C friend. Paper plate. Thank you. Tammy, thank you. Appreciate it. I hope this helps your plate supply. Thanks for all you do for kitties. From Tammy and Keith. Princess Jasmine. Belle. And Misty and Lucy. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Yep, this is something we use day in, day out, every day, every week, all the time. Yep, they, there's plenty of room on the shelf. Can you imagine what this pan hands is yeah. going to have in <laughs> Did you hear, Barb? Can you imagine the dish pan hands we would have if we had to wash all the dishes that we would make dirty? Catch up, baby. Vernon, what are you doing? I'm going to bet you that Coralie did something over there. And this is from Diane and Bruce L. Diane and Bruce L. From Dayton. Oh, yeah. Hey, Barb. Yeah. Think you could change Coralie's blankie or rug? She's very sorry. She did it so it'd be nice and fresh. <laughs> if she did it so she wouldn't be on the cam. Mm. <laughs> she was very polite. Didn't do it on the cam. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and even a little clip that we can use. Is that putter? No, it looks like putter. Chase is from Chase. Dear Mama Jackie, I have been told by the FFRC cam lurkers in my home that you and all the volunteers at FFRC are just wonderful. So let me tell you why you are receiving this package. My mama has a friend that loves dogs. Yes, that is correct. Dogs. My mama tells me dogs are loyal companions and many canines do good work in our community. Okay, I'll give you that. However, we felines are still far more thought-provoking. Now, don't get me wrong. Dogs are okay, but felines like myself are loftier. Back to my mom's friend with the dog. The enclosed clipper set was purchased for a King Charles Spaniel. As dogs go, she is cute. The only problem was when the dog's owner tried to use the clippers, said dog went nuts. I was not surprised to learn of this, as dogs can be just a little touchy around unusual noises. In turn, the friend asked my mama to donate the clipper set to a worthy organization. Once I heard of this, I began a campaign to have the clipper sent 
sat sent to FFRC, FFRC. I too wash the cam every evening. That's my story. I hope you will have a use for it and keep up the good work on behalf of all creatures looking for love and a forever home. By the way, your <laughs> it says spray and neuter. Your spay and neuter program is greatly needed in all communities, and my hope is these types of programs will spread throughout Ohio and beyond. I do too. Sincerely, Chase. And then this is from Chase's mom, Mama and Pa, who is Diane and Bruce L. Diane and Bruce L. <laughs> you guys do that. We so admire the work you and the volunteers do for the love of animals. May you continue to share your passion with others. Five dollars for chicken treats and clothes. <laughs> Reggie, we got a chicken five dollars. Chase demanded we provided this so he could share treats with his cam friends. We'll do that. Chase's mama and pa, Diane and Bruce L. Diane, Bruce, Chase, thank you. And you know what? This is amazing because um, this, a cool lube, well I call it cool lube, for clipper blades is on, went on my um, shopping list today that we, we were going to have to order. We'll have to do that now because it's, it's full, and that will last a long, long time. And, oh, my hand. And, oh, wow. And it's Easy Clip Pro Animal. Powerful clipper for complete animal grooming. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, thank you. And it's purple. And it's purple. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, thank you. Diane, Bruce, and Chase, thank you. Definitely, and, and even the clipper loop will definitely put this to good use. I thank you. Your, you all's generosity just is amazing. Thank you very much. Let me put this in June's room. We will leave that cap there because it doesn't want to stay on. Wow. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Yeah, and the chicky money. Can we, here, I want to say this. happens to Vernon too, you know. <laughs> Vernon gets his grumpy, grumpy stuff. Kiera. Uh, yeah, Hensley. Hensley gets hangry. Oh, Kiera, you're so beautiful. Um, Adi, and this, yeah, I always want to call it Adidas. This came today and has been bugging the heck out of me because we, it's an unusual package size. This came from Tom W. Tom W. Tom W. Hmm, look at that. It's so tall it's standing on the ground like this. Tabitha, why don't you let them alone so they can take a nappy? Oh, gee whiz. Oh, my gosh. These are the, the birth. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got, we got cool stuff here. Look at this. Oh, we got bad around toys. Bad around toys. Um, oh my goodness, this pack. Whoa, this is going to be fun. These are the the bird. The bird. These are cool. Oh, um, look at this one. Oh, this is similar to that one up there that they like. And this one. Look at that. And you know what I love about these is the poles are flexible, so when the kitties grab them, they just bend with them. Man, it's windy out there. And look at this. Oh, and two shorter ones. Oh, three shorter ones. Oh, look at these. These are really cool. We will have to replace some of our bad dud ones. 
Yeah, duh bird. Uh oh, no, no. I gotta hand that. Oh, not yet. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, there's more. Tom, this is really cool. Oh, these are some toys, some balls, and quit. You go. Um, with balls with feathers on them. I've seen those. Those are cool. Stop it. Everybody's middle name today is Stop It. Mine's hurry up. Mine's hurry up. Oh, yeah. These are cool. Oh, gosh. And this is the bee. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. The bee. See the coil there on that? That will make it spring. But let me show you in case you're not familiar with the bird. I used to have one of these and played and played and played with the kitties. These are the tops that go on the the bird. And, yep, is that Coralie? Yes. Oh, Kim, Kim, or uh, Oh my gosh, these. These are really nice toys. Is she going? Oh, you better hurry up, girlie. You better get in there. Okay, got to get the rubber bands off and on my wrist so the kitties don't. These are kind of small. If my hand turns purple, you'll know why. Okay. Oh, gosh, now I'm sweating. It's humid, too. Okay. This gets torn, I think. There we go. Who's crying out there? And it's got like a fish hook. Fish hook thing. I don't know if you can see that. And then you hook it on there. And there we go. And it, these are cool. You, you're supposed to, I can't do it here because I have too many cats here, but you take them so they kind of whirl in space like that. <laughs> I have to clean up a little bit before we can do these. These are, if you're really looking for something like a toy, a pole toy, these are the coolest things for the kitties. Yeah, these are all neat. We'll have to clean up a little bit, though, because it needs a little bit of space here. Yeah, Tom, thank you. These are all really, really nice. Okay, Cindy, she's already playing with me. Look at that. She's already playing with me. Oh, uh, yeah, Kate, or, uh, Candy really likes them. <laughs> we'll replace some of ours in our... We have these tubes on the wall over here, and they work really well for storing toys. And then when, when visitors come, they can use them. This, I've never seen this one, the B before. This will be a cool one. Well, thank you, Tom. I think we better leave them have B tonight. Look at these guys. Hi. Mm -hmm. I love you, honey. Look, did I pull your hair? I like you, too. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Ooh, those Hi. look like very Hi. interesting ones. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, I, I know, you guys gotta wait, though. See, they have all kinds of different replacement tops for the, the bird. Yeah, these are cool. Look at all these replacement ones. These, I, these are the ones I always like the best. The feathers, they're stiff, and they just flutter butter in the air. Alright, we're going to put these in June's room until we can get things done here. Oh, you, you're going to do that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this one, though. Um, <laughs> 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 and we took to that oh. one. Thank you, Barb. You're welcome. We'll put this one up here since it's ready. Oh boy, they're gonna 
They're gonna, they're gonna get that just hanging up there. There goes Candy. She's playing with it, just hanging up there. Those are really cool. Tom, thank you for that. Okay, gotta take the rubber band off. Ow. Wow. There's lots, of, lots of different kinds on there. Oh, and here's his message. Kitties need toys to be used as you best see fit. Thanks for all you make possible. Tom W. from Michigan. Tom, thank you. Appreciate it. There's, there's a whole bunch of different kinds in there. Kitty duster, peacock sparkler, catnip pillow, cat catcher, wild thing, fur pong. They're playing with it, just hanging on the wall. Did you get in there, Chopper? It's hard to do the list. And we have a big, okay, so who has to move? Kira and Sarah or <coughs> Zelda? I'm on. Up you go, girly. Yeah. This one's called the fur thing. <laughs> this one just is a toy. Oh, oh! You know who will love this one, Barb? Who? Is Alma. Yeah, she likes feathers and furry things. Oh, yeah, Alma will love that one. Okay, Candy, let's lift this heavy one up. <sighs> and this one. From Amazon, but I don't have a name on it. Alma's getting that toy. Oh, wow. Lots of chicken food. Chicken baby food. Wow. You know, I did have another note up there. Oh, I see it. We got it. I never like to lose my notes. Let me uncover these first, and then we'll figure out if there's a note in here. There's one, two, three. Four. Bob, do you want me to wash those eggs for you? No, I think they're really good ones. Mm -hmm. Five. <laughs> so do I wash it. <laughs> Five. This is wonderful. This is one thing we were, another thing we were short on. I saw somebody ask earlier, and I did, it just dawned on me. You asked, um, how's our food from um, the Kitty Christmas? And, well, all the baby food and all the appetizers are gone and uh, a lot of the a lot of the friskies and fancy feasts but remember you guys have been keeping br sending some so we still have supply out there and the one thing that we still do have quite a bit left of is um well some left of is kitty stampers so that's pretty cool but that doesn't mean they get more than what they're supposed to Two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. Did she go to one? Well, no. That was just because I knew she got some earlier. Oh. One, two, three. There's eight. There's eight cases of uh, baby food, but I don't have a card in here. I'm wondering, though. Where did I put my note? <laughs> Kitty, kitty. Uh, yes, please. But I can help carry those. I can go to Sister. Okay, I I'm wondering. Nope, I don't know who those are from. Would somebody, if uh, you want to let us know, I'd be happy to. We can let let um, Mudgy know then. 
So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Just like tonight when our surgeries came home, what did they eat? Baby food. And, uh, whoa, good stop there. And then Mommy, uh, Shawnee, she's not the best as eater, but if I put baby food in there or baby um, kitten food, she will eat it most of the time. And then also Sea Turtle, she's fussy, fussy. And she will eat the baby food and um, baby kitten food. Um, let me do these two before we open this box. Also with MLS, Linda, we received a box. Linda, um, your box was, again, another one was gotten by Janessa. And she ripped a big old hole in it. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Little bits of cardboard all over the place. And she started diving in. And I thought, oh gosh, I don't know what's in there. So I thought I probably better open it. She had another big hole like this one in Linda's box. And there were six cases of baby food. So MLS, I saved the cardboard. Didn't save the box. But um, we did get six cases of baby food from MLS also. Yeah, the Catathon is to raise money. We always have a goal. Part of it goes for operating fee costs and um, for the rescue center. And then we always have different goals that we set. And we also, this was really cool yesterday, uh, Judy SP sent us 10 bags of kitty litter. And she told me not to bring it in, to go ahead and just open them up and put them away. So Steve went out and uh, uh, broke open the boxes and put them all away. Could have had Janessa help us on that. So Judy SP, I thank you, thank you, thank you for the kitty litter. After all, what goes in has to go out, right, for everybody? Alrighty, and this box is upside down. This box is Amazon, but I don't have a name on this one either. <coughs> Whoops, that was really terrible. Oh my gosh, there's, there's two more cases of baby food. And I don't have a name on this one either. Oh wow, Mudgy, oops. There's two more cases of baby food. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure who sent these to, but these are really nice. I appreciate it. Yeah. These are the kind that cracks me up. That on the beach net, if you give it a certain whop, the whole thing comes out in one. <laughs> and it all pops out. Every single speck of it. Yeah, two more. Yeah, can you carry that real far? I'll come right in. Okay. Or, I, or if you leave it, I'll carry it. Out. So our anonymous donator, if you can pop up there and or let Mudgy know, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Gosh, Barb, you, you just cleaned all of it up. What? You cleaned all of it up. Yeah. Wilder. So, Wolf Patch, are you on? Did I see you're on? Your kitty is eating like a blooming piggy. And I, and I mean that, yeah. He can't get full now. And Dr. Bill was here again. Whoa, I almost got your little nose. Dr. Bill was here again today, and he adjusted uh, Samson Wolf, and he said, that it was pretty good. It was really good, actually. And I don't think he's going to have to um, uh, adjust him again. Somebody's crying. Who's crying? Mm -hmm. Joe is always out there playing with all the cardboard pieces that he's in the corner that Janessa made. He was, he was throwing them up. We have two envelopes, folks, and then we'll do a, a, a chit-chat. Oh, gosh, it's so nice to so nice to see him. And he's growing like a weed pat, wolf patch. He's really, he's, he's great. He's so beautiful, he, or handsome. This is from, wait a minute. 
don't like to see that. And of course, oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Close your eyes and make a wish. And have an awesome, fun-filled day. This is Deb, um, Dottie, Dottie and Nate. Happy birthday. Hope you have a blessed day. And a ton more birthdays. Me too. <laughs> I also want to tell you thank you for all that you do. I love learning. Dottie. Dottie and Nate, thank you. Very, very, very kind of you. I appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. And also, we have an uh, envelope from Craig, who is Daisy and Sally's dad. Yes, we'll patch no mega colon. Zippo, not a no mega. Just an injury to the tail base. I got a feeling, Dave, that when you guys got them, I'm just kind of wondering if that um, injury was brand new, inflamed, swollen, and that started that whole filling up of his intestinal tract. And then by the time he got here, and remember, we used some anti inflammatories for him. That combination really decreased the swelling so much better. We're still, he's still having a little, 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 little trouble. This sounds really gross. I hope Mitch isn't listening at the moment. Kind of clamping it off, you know, from the nerve damage there. But it's so much better than what it was even a few days ago. So I'm hoping with this last adjustment that he's going to be just really wonderful. <laughs> You're entitled, Wolf Fat, to woohoo too. <laughs> yeah, and he's such a baby. He's such a dear little boy. I love him. He's everybody's friend. He's just a happy boy. Yeah. Um. Oh, Craig, thank you. This is Sophie and um, Sophie and Daisy's dad, and he did a bump up on the last fundraiser. Craig. Thank you. And Marianne, too, and your daughter. Thank you for this. And, of course, your kitties and your doggie. Yep. So, um, our surgeries. Boy, what a long, long day that was. Long day. Um, and we were even late getting them up there. So, they did They did really well. I, I talked to Darcy quite a bit this morning. And yesterday, before we even took, uh, especially Michaela Sue up, I was I was a little worried about her. You know, she did get a little Khaleesi virus. Thank you, Wolf Patch. She did have a little Khaleesi virus, and that really um, slowed down her eating. But once we got that cleared up and uh, got her on some pain meds for the Khaleesi, but mostly for the eye, because I knew that was swelling up more. Barb, wasn't that you that told me you noticed it was swollen more? Somebody said the other day that they could tell, too, that it was swollen more. And, oh, great. <laughs> Sneeze on me, girl. And uh, I noticed that that definitely made her feel better, and she started eating. It didn't hurt so much. So Dr. Darcy does call that glaucoma for Michaela Sue. But she thinks that that is probably either an injury to the eye or a virus to the eye where it interfered with the blood vessels, um, letting the natural leaking, I guess you could say, of the fluid away from the eye happen. And so since it couldn't happen, it just started swelling that eye up. So I'm very, very glad that we got it out. I think she's going to bloom and blossom now. You could even tell from the cam. So, um, and yeah, yeah, it, it was getting kind of icky the last couple of days. So it's done, but I did cancel her spay. I, <coughs> I just felt a little bit like she wasn't in the 100% condition, and uh, we didn't want to chance two surgeries. The good thing about her eye was the majority of the eye enucleations that we do here just one eye. The other eye is perfectly 100% A-OK, -okay, no damage, no nothing in it. So that's good. The one thing that's different is when we do eye enucleations, 
most of them are dirty eyes, we call, where they are, they're already open or um, they're just very, very infected. And that takes a little bit different surgery. It's called, a, or a, the one that she was able to do today, she calls it an open one, open enucleation. And it's done in a different way. And the reason she could do that was the eye orbit was still an orbit. It wasn't um, diseased with infection in it. So that made her surgery actually quicker. So that's good. So what we did was we sent Gia up because if we were two surgery slots and we took her spay away, I wanted to get another spay of ours done so that that would open up another spay for Saturday. Probably cost me a little bit more money, but we've got some families that, oh gosh, they've got girls and they're in heat and they have very poor vehicles, cannot leave town. And some be people, believe it or not, don't have very much family or friends that will or have a car. And so I felt there's two families that we're really trying to work with to help them get their females done before they have they get pregnant. So if we did Gia today, that opened up one more slot for one of those spays for Saturday. So I was happy to do that. So Saturday, I think right now we have, I think it's, oh gosh, seven or eight spays and golly, I can't remember what I did, what, 13, 14, 14 um, neuters. So I just don't want to keep everybody here till like 6 o'clock like we did last time. We'll, we'll patch for the public, they do, but not for, not for us. By far, the majority of our spays and neuters are done, you know, in the back thumpers room for the rescue center. I rarely really send a regular spay up there because it does cost us more. But um, like Gia, you know, we could have done her, but I just thought it was more important to get her done so we could open up that slot. Many, yes, Deb, Deb, you are absolutely right. The kitties that will be done in April for the transport, the majority of those will be in, in heat or pregnant. Um, when we used to do, I mean, that's, a, that's the facts, folks. I'm not going to, it's, it's, it, it, if you wait for a cat to not be in heat or not be pregnant, you're going to hardly ever catch them because they go into heat back to back to back. They're not like, um, it's not like a dog that usually goes into heat twice a year. When we did, when we had our spay neuter clinic from April through um, September, October, uh, what was the s figures on that? 80, 85% of the females were pregnant. They're very, very productive. No, antibiotics did not help her eye, Jay-Z. Nope. We had her on the bestest of the bestest antibiotics. Did not help. But, Wolf Patch, if what you mean if like a ordinary person or regular person goes in for, I don't know how to say that, but goes in to, for a spay and the cats are in heat, they do charge a little more. It is a harder surgery. It does take longer. Tissues are what we call real friable. They um, want to tear much more easier. Usually the incision is a little bit bigger. You're welcome, Wolf Patch. Yep. And, um, but like for our transports, they do not charge anything extra. Nothing more. Yep. I asked, um, I asked uh, Gretchen two weeks ago, was that when we did the transport? I said, one question I have to ask that I neglected to ask is, uh, how far along can a cat be to for you to do the spay? Because when we had our spay-neuter clinic, their cats are pregnant nine weeks. We always wanted to schedule them seven weeks or younger in their pregnancy. Um, she said they'll do them going into labor. She said there's so many. Many, 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 many. They can never keep up. Um, 
They, yeah, they do a little bit, but, you know, they just tie off more. They just have more vessels possibly to tie off. Can you spay a pregnant cat? Definitely can spay a pregnant cat. Definitely. Thousands are done. Thousands are done. And I know some people are very, very opposed to that. But if those thousands are done, are not done, and each one of those represents four or five more kitties, where's all those homes going to be? Yeah, they're, they're not going to be. Um, I've got a few more minutes. If anybody has any questions about anything, I am open. Fire away. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find them not in heat. <laughs> it, well, once the days get like this, warmer days, longer um, daylight, because they will be born, or they will go into heat back to back. No, the kitties are not born. No, Jazz. This is a touchy subject, and I'm, I don't want to, I'm not going to stand here, I don't want to sit here and um, kind of, argue the pros and cons on it. All I can say is there are not enough homes for all the kitties out there. Yep. I haven't heard from Belita for quite a while. What are we short of? Um, what did you say? Oh, Steve says appetizers. We just got like 10 pieces in tonight though. <laughs> she said, still appetizers. He knows, he knows what, the, what it is out there. <laughs> um, so we do try to go slow on the appetizers though because I know they're expensive. Oh, wait a minute, I missed something up there. JC, my vets have done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of eye enucleation. If my vets say they need removed, I'm not going to go to the expense of a specialist because I actually consider my vets a specialist and I, I go with what they say. Um, Mish, I haven't had any negative press on l -Lysine. No, I haven't. And Mish, I was wondering if you and I can talk. Guess what about? <laughs> oh. Uh, no, we're not short on kitty spent will patch. <laughs> I've been so busy, it's like, oh, I'm so glad we don't have any in other than our three babies yet. <laughs> um, I missed something, though, up there. The horses, they're okay. They're back in their stalls. We leave them out, you know, all day. In the mornings after their breakfast, they get outside all day, all afternoon, sometimes early evening. And, um, but they, the wind really, really spooks Maverick. Hot stickers. How's the bathroom? Well, the tub is in, and usable. I just have to be careful because the walls are not done. The vanity and the new cabinet came in today. Um, he puttied the walls. So it's coming. It's coming. I'm really happy. But um, Toity's not in there yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what he meant, Joko. Yeah, we need a flash sale maybe next week. I was just going to happen to ask Mudgy if she happened to be on. I did, Newfie. It was wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Well, Patch, you guys really got socked, huh? Send it, send it to me, Mish. Um, that's really sad. Sad that you have so many already. Chicken. Oh, chicken. Chicken we're a little low on. Sam sardines were good. Salmon we're half good. Half good on salmon. Thank you for thinking of that. Yeah, my our vets are wonderful, J V. You know, there's certain certain hours that they have to take every year to keep their licenses up. And I don't remember exactly what it is. It's maybe it's 20, but our vets take many, 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 many times more than that. They suck up those those um, education classes um, and the 
um, conferences all the time. Yeah, and I had bubble bath too while skating. You know, um, we started using Lysine, it's probably been four years ago, per the advice of Dr. Pettigrew. And we were having just a heck of a time for two years with uh, the herpes virus. And so he had suggested the Lysine, and we that's what goes in part of our breakfast mix every year, er, every day, every day every single day, along with some other things that we put in it. Uh, and I here have noticed a drastic difference in the herpes virus. And sometimes, and I get so used to using it, that sometimes when we have a cat come in that had originally came in and had little wet eyes and then it got better, and then they're adopted, and then when the owners call, they'll say, well, the eye's a little wet. And it's like, oh, you should probably get that cat back on the l -Lysine. There's all kinds of different brands, all kinds of different ways of um, giving it. Some's in gel, some's in paste, some's in uh, pills that you have to crush. Ours is in powder form. One of the major mom, oh, oh, uh, Chester the molester. I don't know, Jazz, uh, to be really honest, I do not keep track. I really, really do not, and I really don't want to keep track. I know in my head roughly, I know a lot of you guys keep track, but I don't go by numbers. I go more how I know we're full. I do know outside, though, that um, we've got 18 kitties in the cove. We have probably, and I'm guesstimating without my booklet here, um, 12 in the big red barn, 3 in the gray barn, and the fire cats change all the time probably five or six, and um, the porchies, well, I put out 12 plates for the porchies in the morning, so those are our out, outdoor ones. More than 10, that's exactly right. Yeah, the Easter's coming up. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right, we do our vets. <clears throat> That's always tell us we keep them challenged. What's the matter? Now, a oh Barb, the two. Thank you. So, um, and Gia is also doing good. I don't think I told you that hers was a routine spay. She's doing great, no problem at all. Yeah, it should, I purr. To Jesse Bedhead, happy birthday. Yeah, Wolf Patch, you're pretty cool. You do a great job. Well, any other questions? I'm open for anything. Got a few more. It's an opportunity. I'm frowning about. Oh, big storms. Happy birthday, Jesse of Clark, Jesse and the rest. She's so beautiful. And Canto's birthday. Yep. So when you see Sonia come on next time, um, y'all just get on there and sing. <clears throat> the um, ooh e ooh ah ah ting ting walla walla bing bang to her and drive her crazy, drive her crazy. Oh, thank you, Will Patch. You you do awesome. You really do work. You do great work. Here's Hatter Meds. You know this boy comes every morning while I'm trying to get my emails caught up. And this is exactly how he wants to be held. Yeah, if you turn him over, he'll cry. If you turn him with his head over here, he'll cry. <gasps> Jack Cat had a birthday. Happy birthday, Jack Cat, last week. Oh, happy birthday, Murphy. Phil is home, yes. You told me what to do. <gasps> I did not know that was banned from the radio. Night, Budgie. Thank you. 
Hey, Mudgy. Mudgy, wait before you go. Mudgy, can you put on there, um, Leanne, um, donations, Leanne from Canada? And I've got the list, and then I'll, I'll put that, I'll use my list for the blog. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you're just fine now, Dan. Yeah. It was being, huh? Are you done? Okay, well, then I'm going to go take care of Grandma. Okay. All right, folks. Sure do think the world of all of you. You're, you're all really wonderful, and I appreciate you. I keep telling the volunteers, just enjoy this peace and quiet, because it won't last for much longer. <laughs> we can get a whole lot more done, can't we? Yeah, this so much more relaxing. <laughs> Ooh, yum, Dutchie. Yum, yum. Oh, maybe one of the mods you could ask, just send um, Mudgy a PM for me to, just to put down Leanne from Canada. And I'll use my note. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to know that. Wolf patch. All right. Thanks, you all. I'll tell my mom. He is a secret pot. But he's awfully cute. Yes, you are. Put some wine in. <laughs> oh, for Pete's, Pete's sake! Now, are you okay now? They didn't do that to you. You did that to yourself, goofy boy. Do you ever wonder if people think we're... Thank you. Thanks, just me. If people think we're funny, silly, crazy, I don't know what the word... When we talk to these cats, like... I And I think most of the time they do understand it. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Somebody today was in looking at um, mittens. Come on, come on over. Let's push you over there. Had a good girl. And the other song, bless Barb's heart, she reminded me of, is the worm song. Now, see, now it actually popped out of my head though. Oh, don't you know it is? It was coming back. <laughs> Shame on it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking here all the time. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. You guys are just wonderful folks, and I appreciate you all. Just know we will always try our very best here at the Rescue Center to take care of these, these kitties. Yeah, that's right, kitties, Mom. I talk to them all the time, and I think they understand me. Yep. I was going to take care of mom first, or come in first.
If she would go and take a nap somewhere, she'd be just fine with this. Because he's eaten, obviously. She has done 10,000 times better than when she first came in. When she first came in, I wasn't even sure if she was going to be able to be with other cats. I look at that. I mean, she's just done really, really well. And that's the one that's going to go with his. Yeah, and she can find her home. When she finds a home, we're going to send her home with Kitty. Kitty I bet he's on list. Oh, I don't know who that Kitty is. I know one that's um, temporarily living here. That's and Cookie. Then. And Cookie's at back at her house right now. She'll be here Saturday to get spayed. Oh, where did this one come from? Her mommy lost her. So she's not going to have a home right now. So we're keeping her until she gets home.